Let's now talk about linearizations. What is a linearization? A linearization is a tangent line that approximates values of our function. Take a look here. I've just drawn some function f and at x equals a I drew a tangent line. Now look at some values on our function that are relatively close to x equals a. This tangent line is actually a pretty good approximation for those function values both to the right of x equals a as well as to the left of x equals a. I mean seriously take a look at this. This tangent line is pretty darn close. It's really good. Although if we get too far away from a then we do have a lot of loss of precision. So we need to stay relatively close to x equals a. How close? Well, it depends on your function, really. But if you're, you know, within one away, like if you're 0 0.05 away or 0 0.1 away, you're going to be pretty darn close. If you're like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 away, you might have some loss of precision. One away to 10 away, you're definitely going to be pretty far off. But really, take this is really cool. I mean, look at how close we are. So we can what we can do is we can approximate function values using a linearization and we say that it's centered at x equals a. Now how can we find this linearization? Well that's the easy part, that's the awesome part is this is just a tangent line. Well how do you find a tangent line? Well there's two things that you need for a tangent line. You need a point, our point is a comma f of a and you need a slope. Well the slope of this tangent line is the derivative at x equals a. Well we just call that f prime of a. Then using point slope form we have y minus our y1 which is f of a is equal to the slope m which is f prime of a times x minus the x value which is just a. And then of course if we move everything to the right hand side we now have y is equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. This is the line in slope intercept form that is tangent to f at x equals a. This is also called the linear approximation for f centered at x equals a. And the way that we describe our linear approximation is by saying it is a function L of x. So L of x replaces y and it's equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. But in reality all a linearization is is just the tangent line at x equals a. Now we can use this linear approximation to plug in values of x relatively close to a. And what this will do is it will actually approximate the function at values relatively close to f of a. And that right there is the whole concept behind the linear approximation or linearization.